Hi, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy. As you can see, I finished all the level grinding and getting the gold I needed, barely. And uh, I, I did it both ways, actually. That's why I didn't post anything yesterday. I did it once at the Power Peninsula and once um, seeing how it, long it would take me at Alfland. And, uh, well, at the Power Peninsula, it did take me about an hour. Um, but around Alfland, it took me about twice as long. And in addition to that, about 15 minutes running around, you know, going to inns and buying stuff and everything. So, um, you know, just choose whatever way you like. If you don't like using the Power Peninsula, well, just be aware it's going to take a lot longer the other way around. So, uh, fortunately for the rest of the game, uh, we'll be back to the standard 15, 30 minutes of uh, grinding at a time, so I'll spread it out more later on. Just this part of the game wasn't very well paced, so you know the rest of the game will be better. So let's take a look at everything we got here. Make sure we're ready. We got 15 tents here, 15 pure potions, 99 heal potions, and then for the magic, we got all these spells here for the red mage, and here's all the spells your white mage should have for now. And then for the weapons, that's what we got there. Two silver swords, that'll really help out. And here's your armor setup. And of course the uh, black belt uh, should uh, have his absorb at 10 once you do that. So we're all ready to go. Let's uh, head over to the marsh cave then. So we're going to start out heading west. Okay, now from here you want to head northwest, and there's going to be two paths to the west of the mountains. Uh, the first path you want to pass up, because it leads to a dead end, you want to take the second path to the west. So pass that up. And this is the path you want to take, and once you go there, then you head straight south and look for a hole in the ground. That's the marsh cave. swamp now. There it is. Okay, we've made it, and we need to use, uh, eh, one tenth ought to do. Save. And now we're ready to go inside, so let's take a look. Okay, we got two paths here. We're gonna start with the north path, since that leads to a dead end with some treasure, so we're gonna do that first. Remember to conserve your magic in this area. Um, because we're going to be coming back out, so try to avoid using um, healing items for now. Okay, we got a uh, new enemy, Crawl. It's not very powerful, um, but it can hit eight times, and uh, but it's very weak. Probably only deal eight damage with eight hits, but it can stun you with your with its physical attack, almost guaranteed. So, and uh, I'm going to use a harm spell to take out all these bones real fast. Should be a relatively easy fight. And they should take him out. There we go. Let's keep going. Straightforward path. Just look out for the stairs. Here's another new enemy, Scum. They can poison you with their physical attacks, and they have a perfect physical defense. So, well, Cyan's not really going to be able to do much. So, in this battle, probably a good idea to use either fire or uh, ice spells. Um, if you only have two of them, then you might as well just use fire or ice. But if you've got like three or four, you know, good idea to use a multi-targeting spell. So I'm going to use ice too, because I'm not going to be needing fast for, for now. You want to save at least one level three spell charge from your red wizard or black wizard or, or red mage or black mage um, for now, because um, you, you'll want it for the guardian of the crown later on. So uh, just save one, at least one of those for later. Okay, now on this floor you can see we got three rooms. Uh, I'm going to start with the upper right one. Each of them has some treasure, so let's take a look at that. Large knife, not useful. And just some zombies there. One 
treasure chest here. And some gold. That'll be helpful. Down to the last room. Okay, one more treasure room. Okay, we got a short sword that's useless and some gold. Alright, so now we're going to head back to the entrance. There's nothing else here. the new enemy, Shadows, or essentially some kind of ghosts, I guess, and uh, they can inflict the dark status on you, and as you will see, it does nothing. It's supposed to reduce your hit percentage, but as you can see, he can hit them just fine. So, I don't see the point. What we're going to do when we're going to get back to the entrance, we're going to use some uh, tents to uh, restore our HP. That's why I didn't want you using your magic or heal potions. Tents are just more efficient that way because they can heal everyone. I can get out of my way. There you are. Damn bats. Okay. Made it. Alright. Let's see, well, Min needs the mouse, so let's see. Uh, I'll probably want to use some, well, let's use 110. Use one there, and then a tent. There we go. Okay, now we're all at full HP, we're saved. So, now we're going to take the uh, other path in the Marsh Cave, which will uh, take us to the crown eventually, and, uh, you know, some other treasure, so let's go. Probably won't be able to make it all the way there, but I'll get to the second or third floor. And in that room are the stairs to the next floor. Let's make it. There we are. Oh, and here's a relatively uncommon enemy, scorpions. They can poison you with their physical attacks, so we got to be careful with them. They're not weak to any particular elements, so you just got to tough it out. Pretty good at poisoning me, apparently. Okay, we're back. I decided to do the healing all that on my own time there. So, we're almost to the third floor. Those other rooms back there don't contain anything, so don't worry about it. They actually contain some, I think what I call duplicate chests, where if you get chests in one part of a dungeon, then the other one's empty for some reason. I'm not exactly sure how that works, but there's nothing to worry about. Just don't go there. So now we're on the third floor. I'm going to stop here and show you all the treasure, and we'll get the crown next time. So... That's all for today. That this is H.C. Bailey for Final Fa Let's Play Final Fantasy. Signing off. Have a great day.